Hey, what's up guys? How you guys doing? Um, just checking in. Tuesday, got the transmission out. Clutch is also out and it is smoked. Uh, one track day and it's gone. Stage one monster. Uh, been in contact with them. They've been great. Uh, working on a deal to get a uh, 800 horsepower Kevlar disc, a uh, twin disc clutch uh, as a replacement. Uh, those guys have been great. Uh, reached out to them right away, and they uh, they definitely uh, went above and beyond so far uh, with uh, getting me uh, set up with a replacement on a discount and everything. Um, other than that, I have a pretty bad oil leak. Looks like it's coming from either the edge of the oil pan. You can see that. Looking like it's gonna be right either in this corner of the pan or the bottom edge of this back cover. Uh, so my plan is to um, get to get a new cover with the recess the, with the already pressed in um, rear main seal, and I'm also going to get uh, a new uh, pan gasket and see what we can do. Hopefully that stops the leak. Uh, looks like it's coming right from this corner here. And uh, as you can see, I mean, even the, uh, the filter's soaked. It's just been dripping down. It's been going on for months. Um, so unfortunately, motor's coming out because as you can tell, the pan is literally on the cross member. So there's no way to swap it out in the car unless I, you know, hoist the engine and then drop the cross member. But with that amount of work, I might as well just pull the motor out. So that's the rest of the week's plan. Gonna start uh, taking everything out. Radiator, gonna dump all the fluids, take the brace and uh, probably gonna take the accessories off. I may change to a dirty dingo accessory drive kit, brackets, um, because right now I have the ICT billet but this actually wants to walk forward uh, on here. So a lot of the times after I get back from driving, I gotta push it and it clicks back into groove. So I'm not really loving that. I will probably uh, switch to the ICT billet or spend the money and do like a CVR or a Holly uh, mid-mount kit, but they're like crazy money, 1500 to two grand for that stuff. So we'll see what the finances are uh, when I'm about to put this back together. And um, I'll see which route I'd like to go in. Um, hoping doesn't take too long. I'm going to spend the next few days tearing all the uh, little stuff out while I'm waiting on parts. And then got to hoist it out, unfortunately. So uh, it's all good. You know, I'm sure I'll make a little bit of changes to things here and there as uh, putting it back together. And that's it, man. Just want to keep you guys in check. I may also send this out for new synchros and stuff since I bought it used and never really upgraded anything inside. So I may do that while I'm waiting. Uh, again, I gotta figure out where I could send it and get it back in a timely fashion. Good thing is uh, I could use uh, a lot of this stuff still. The remote bleeder, the uh, throw out bearing and the sleeve uh, for the new clutch setup since I'm still going with a monster, which is, uh, is helpful. Um, that's it. All right. Thanks guys. Thanks for checking in and I will uh, keep updated uh, as soon as I can. Thanks.